All right, this is a travel guide for the country of Norway. If you enjoy travel, make sure to subscribe my channels as I am going to make a lot more travel guides. And as usual, I will leave my full notes and also the marker in the Google map in the description below. So if you are going to Norway or you are already in Norway, you can find those notes and markers useful. There are so many things that you can experience in Norway. As we're having Winter Olympic right now, Norway is sitting the number one of the medal list. They are no stranger to the snow and ice. Therefore, once in Norway, there's so many snow and ice activities we can do there. The first one is apparently snow skiing. One of the skiing park that I recommend is Oslo Cross Country Skiing, where you can find yourself getting trained by the Olympic medalist. Snowmobiling is another good transportation that can get you from A to B much faster and also enjoying the view in between. Ice fishing is one of the things that I want to try. Basically, it's getting so cold that the whole lake is frozen. People will go there, draw a little hole, and then just fish in there because apparently the fish underneath it are still alive and hungry. It will be really fun to do ice fishing in Norway. Dog sledding is a very interesting activity that I am definitely going to do, especially this one, Ergholm Husky is one of the most famous places that you can try dog sledding in Norway. They have summer safaris and winter safaris and their tour range between overnight tour to up to 11 days expeditions. Thinking about you can spend more than a week with a bunch of huskies live together and they're gonna take you to the place you want it. It's just one of the experience that you will not have anywhere else. One of the bonus that you go with Ingholm Husky is that they're gonna take you to the indigenous people of Sami and the reindeer herd where you spend time play with the reindeers and imagine if you go there in the Christmas time while you have a reindeer right next to you how exciting is that while you have enough time enjoying the nature and the animals you can also find yourself in the outdoor theater of a peer game theater it is a theater that they perform in the traditional Norwegian play peer games and they only play one week in August every single year. So if you miss that, you have to wait for another year. Another main main activity you can do is zip lining. It's in Morocco where you can find yourself climbing the cliff and zip lining through the glaciers. Norwegian people are just full of creations when it comes to snow and ice. They build the entire hotel with the ice block and snow. And it's available in the Kirkeny Snow Hotel or Alta Srisniva Igloo Hotel. Although it's not cheap, it's just one of the unique experiences that either take it or you're gonna miss it for life. Well, Norway is a fully developed country where the infrastructure is so mature, so road trip can be one of the good experiences. There is one road trip that highlighted by the Lonely Planet from Bergen all the way to the Kristiansand, where you can expect many fjords, mountain views with ice top, hairpin roads, coastline, tunnel, and the town views. So it's gonna go from Bergen to Vos, Lardale Tunnels, Trostigen, and then Bristinstand. Best time to do this road trip is between June to August while the Trostigen is open. And because it's the pack season, just make sure you pre-book your hotels, camping ground, and your cars. While you're on the northern Norway, make sure that you're not gonna miss the Samari town. It is a town that fully abolished time. During the summer from 18th of May, once the sun is rise, it's not gonna set for 63 days until the 26th of July. So they decided to fully abolish the time so that you are not abide with the time anymore. You can do anything, anytime you want. Because they're so determined that they want to have a timeless zone, they strap their watch onto the bridge, which has the only access to the island. For transportation in Norway, because it's a fully developed country with a mature infrastructure, like we mentioned before, there are so many ways of transportation you can choose from. Train, bus, self-driving, plane, and ship. The train in Norway is most likely reliable and spacious cabin. It connects major cities such as Oslo, Bergen, Trondheim, and Bodo. They also have sleeper trains 
which are relatively smaller but comfortable enough. However, the fare to go with train can be expensive, but you can find a cheaper discount ticket few days before the travel, just taking the risk. If you're in the rural areas, bus will be one of the most popular choice. It's cheaper than train as well, but it will have much fewer services during the weekend and the quiet season. Because Norway consists of many islands, ferry is one of the popular transportation way as well. The ferry normally carries cars, foot passengers and cyclists. It's a very popular transportation because you get to see the view of the fjord and some boat crossings can be very rough so if you have motion sickness like myself pick those trips with cautious if you're time sensitive then airplane might be a way to go surprisingly it's cheaper than taking the train and gets you to the place much faster of course but you go without the view so there's give and take and you also have connection to most of the disconnected cities so it's very handy to catch airplane. And last but not least is the self-driving. It is no doubt the most flexible ways to explore Norway, but be reminded that the rental costs are not cheap and the fuel costs are very high in Norway as well. So the overall transportation cost could go pretty high pretty soon. There is a very handy website, it's called Intour, which is a Norway national transportation planner. You plan your trip on the end tour and they will give you multiple options mixed between bus, boat, train and if you are in the capital city of Oslo there is a website called Router which gets you to the public transportation system very easily throughout the Oslo if you buy Oslo Pass it will give you free access to most of the museum and free transportation to the zone 1 and 2 which includes many of the tourist places the tourist season in Norway can be divided into three seasons. The high seasons range between mid-June to mid-August. It's the best time for the outdoor activities and hikings. Travel cost in Norway during that time is relatively cheaper because more hotels will be open, more transportation bus tour will be open, but there will be many more tourists as well. So do expect crowds. If you want to go to a slightly less tourism system there's also a shoulder season between may to mid-june or mid-august to september however the accommodations could be slightly more expensive because few motels or hotels will be closed during the shoulder season so make sure you book in advance especially before the festivals where a lot of people will go and fight for the accommodations and then there's a low season throughout from october to april best time to see the northern light and it's also the winter of norway so it tends to get very cold so be reminded that many attractions will be closed during the low season also there will be shorter hours of daylight each day the cost to travel to Norway. First of all, what you need to know is that in Norway, they don't use Euro. They have their own currency called Kron. And also Norway is one of the most expensive country to travel. On average, it's gonna cost 117 US dollar per person per day. A monthly cost for a couple, it's gonna cost almost 7,000 US dollar. Accommodation for a couple is gonna cost about $120 per night. Transportation is gonna cost roughly 36 US dollar per day. And the standard meal for two per day is gonna cost roughly between 62 US dollar to 100. But if you are on a tight budget and you still wanna to go to Norway, go check my notes below. There are still some activities you can enjoy while on a tight budget. And this is it for the Norway Travel Guide. If you like it, make sure you subscribe because I'll be making more travel guides. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in Norway someday.